Здравейте! Витайте на моем YouTube канале Влам Саким. Я сам Филиппинка, живу сана Словенску. Hi everyone, my name is Kim and I'm a Filipina living in Slovakia. And today we're going to be talking about the things that you should never ever do or say when you are in Slovakia. So if you're interested, watch until the end because you're going to learn a lot of cool stuff about Slovakia. As usual, these are purely based on my experiences after living for one year here in Slovakia and as well as the reactions that I get from my husband whenever I try to trigger him with these topics. This is the first because this is like the major one and I have learned it the hard way. I once met a group of girls whom were Slovaks. Then I started this topic and I got a lengthy argument why Slovakia should be a central Europe, not Eastern Europe. It has been long debated whether Slovakia should be part of Eastern Europe or Central Europe. However, for Slovaks, especially the young ones, I think they don't really want to be referred as Eastern Europe. As a foreigner, you may ask why. Well, I think because being an Eastern European country has a lot of negative connotations because of the association it has with Soviet Union and maybe the country Russia. That is why, looking at the history, one might say that Slovakia is part of the Eastern Europe. However, geography-wise, it's considered as Central Europe, which actually makes sense because if you look at the map, it's in the center of the continent. And even if you ask Wikipedia, you can see there that it's part of Central Europe. I know I have a lot of Slovak viewers too, so guys, let me know what you think about this. I would really appreciate to know your opinion about this topic. Leave it a comment below. I know a lot of foreigners may have this idea just because of the history of Soviet Union. However, be really careful when talking with Slovaks and associate their country with Russia. Well, because truly, it's an independent country now and it's a long way from Russia. To be honest, I'm still curious what do Russians think about Slovaks and what do Slovaks think about Russians. I'm not aware of the full history of Slovakia and Russia and that is something I'm really curious about. Hungary and Slovakia are neighboring countries and also have a very colorful history. At one point in the history, Slovakia was part of Hungarian Kingdom and as far as I know, Bratislava once served as the Hungarian capital during Turkish invasion. However, of course, tensions aroused between Slovaks and Hungarians in terms of their politics, economics, and culture. During this time, Slovak culture and language was actively suppressed in terms of the Hungarians. So as a natural response, Slovaks doesn't want to be referred as part of the Hungary. Although because of their long history, there are still Hungarian minorities living here in Slovakia, but they are in the part of the border with Hungary. Yes, though their names and flags looks and sounds very similar, they are entirely different countries. I was guilty of this one too. I thought that they were the same as well before but no. I remember before when I was in the Philippines, I was filling up some forms and I put Slovenia instead of Slovakia. I actually read it before that sometimes they mistakenly send mails to Slovenia instead of Slovakia and then vice versa. They are both small countries in Europe but they are both very very beautiful. I hope I get to visit Slovenia someday as well. Czech and Slovakia used to be one country before but they have split already. Now Slovakia is one independent country. They split on January 1, 2003 which they call as the Velvet Revolution which followed the Velvet Divorce, so they say. This is good to know because if you are visiting Slovakia and you decided to post in your social media, you wouldn't look funny because you would say you are in Czechoslovakia because well, it doesn't exist anymore. I think this is a silent rule in Slovak custom when you are visiting someone's house. Try to bring something when you are visiting like a bottle of wine, chocolates, or something sweet. I am not sure up to what extent is this expected here in Slovakia, but so far, 
I am told this way. This is not very common in the Philippines. So when my husband and I are still living in the Philippines, so I have some families or friends coming over to our house and he always notices how people don't bring him something until my brother decided to bring him a bunch of bananas and he was so happy. Slovaks may be cold, but they are very generous when they take you in. When you visit the Slovak house, they may offer you a welcoming drink or food. Some are enthusiastic to offer you their home-cooked meals, or maybe sometimes they are this homemade alcohol spirits that they want you to try. And as a sign of courtesy, just accept it and try it. Because if you don't, they can get easily offended. So even if you're vegan and you are offered a homemade klobaska, just taste it. <laughs> You'll be surprised how it tastes so good. I noticed that veganism is still not widely known here in Slovakia and not practiced by a lot of people, especially those who are in the villages. My husband is a Slovak and he became vegan after living in abroad for quite a while. And then he came back to Slovakia and he started telling people that he's vegan and doesn't eat goulash anymore. And people were like, what? <laughs> and then he said, I eat hummus. And they were like, what is hummus? <laughs> This is very important. Now, I am more conscious when looking people in their eyes when I am tearsing. This is also true when you are shaking somebody's hands when you met them in the first time. You have to look them in the eyes and your handshake should be firm. I think this is most common in Western countries, but for Asia or at least in the Philippines, as far as I know, this is not a big issue. Plus, bowing your head like this. <laughs> it's a more common greetings in the Philippines than handshake. So if you come here and meet Slovaks, shake their hands as firm as you can. This is a common courtesy here in Slovakia. In the Philippines, you are actually not expected to remove your shoes when you're visiting somebody's home. Actually, they would ask you to keep your shoes on because they may be um, conscious that their floor are dusty. Also, it's not common in the Philippines to offer people or visitors home shoes. Unlike here in Slovakia, whenever I visit a Slovak home, I am always offered a home shoes. So if you are visiting a Slovak house as well, just make sure to take off your shoes. Also, I'm not sure for other countries, but I've seen a lot of American movies wherein they always wear shoes even inside the house. And even sometimes they are on the bed, they have shoes on. I'm not sure if it is actually a cultural thing in America or it's just in movies. Let me know in the comments below. Czechs and Slovaks are like competing brothers, you know. So if you go to the pub and you see people watching maybe football or ice hockey, never ever say that Czechs are so good and that they are better than Slovaks. I think this also holds true when you are in Czech. You will just offend them. Especially, do not do this if you are having a beer with a Slovak. I only say this when I want to piss off my husband and he's watching sports on TV, maybe ice, hockey, or football, and 101% it gets to his head. And as a bonus, although I'm not sure up to what extent this is true here in Slovakia, but never ever open a fridge of someone's house unless you have a permission to do so. I think it all depends on what kind of relationship you have with the person that you're visiting. I remember back then when my husband and I are still living in the Philippines and I have some friends who come over to our house. For us, it's kind of normal if the visitor wants to open our fridge or maybe kitchen cabinet if they need something and it's not a big issue but for my slovak husband he was like what is he doing why is he opening our fridge <laughs> so it's like that another thing that is very unique for me here in slovakia is the 
rule of giving flowers. They say that don't give an even number of flowers in a bouquet because it's offensive. I'm not sure why, fortunately, I didn't have to give any flowers to any Slovaks. I only received them. Alright, that's it for me today, guys. I hope that this video helps you if you are coming here in Slovakia as well in the future. Just remember, you have been warned. And if you're a Slovak and watching this video, what do you think, guys? Am I accurate or did I miss something? Let me in the comment below. You know that I love reading all your comments. Okay, thank you guys for watching this video. If you love it, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more videos in the future. And if you want to be a member, just click on the join button or you will see also the link in the description below and you will be my star. Nota, dobre, ciao, ke, ciao, ke. <laughs> Ciao, Che! Jacuiel!